Okay, everybody. Just like I wrote about the other day, there's a lot of reasons why. You know, I feel like, you know, Hollywood, there's a lot of things that they, they I feel like they don't try to bring back a lot of these movies. And when they do bring it back, they're nothing like they used to be. Okay? And the thing about it is, I've got so many things in this head of mine. <laughs> Let me just tell you something, okay? Now, right now, right now, okay, I was going to tell you last night. I really was before I went to bed. Because it popped into my head the other day when I was talking about one crazy night. Or one crazy summer, sorry. Sorry for my, my brain's really going. Because where we live at right now, one of our neighbors got, somebody stole some stuff from their home the other day. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's really driving me crazy. It's really upsetting. And, uh, and he's been on vacation. He, I think he went fishing with his family. So, you know what I mean. So I got something to say. Don't worry. They're going to handle it. So, you know what I mean. I got something to say here. Um, this is what I thought about the other day, you know, last night before I went to bed. Um, like I said, everything goes in my mind. And see, Hollywood could easily come up with this stuff, but they just don't try. They don't even want to think about it. You know, they could easily bring back Revenge of the Nerds, and they could easily bring back Police Academy. They could easily bring back these movies, and we always have to help them. You could easily bring back Revenge of the Nerds. The characters and the cast members from that movie, now it is around the time now to easily their grandchildren or their children could be going off to college. Or, like I said, their grandchildren could be. So we could just easily start right back up with that movie, Revenge of the Nerds. So see... And also, you could do the same thing with Police Academy. And even if it's not their children, here's the thing about it. It could be the neighbor child, and they have took over the responsibility of raising that child because their parents sadly have passed away. So see, either way, it's either freaking way here. Now the movie's going to start back up where it left off at, okay? You know what I'm trying to say here? We're just going to do the same thing over again. We're just going to re... We're going to go right back where we left off at again. With Revenge of the Nerds. Where Lewis... And all of them... You know where they went off to college. But we know college, you know what I'm saying? All of them did. And even this time, we already know that... You know what I'm saying? There's even girls even in that group of, you know, Lambda Lambda. So, see, it doesn't matter. So, yes, there's girls in the Lambda Lambda and also boys, too. So, it doesn't matter. What about the, F the, the Alpha Betas? Well, same thing goes there, too. We already know that that group, there still is the Alpha Betas. The thing about it, though, is recently we found out they're going to try their best to bring back Scary Movie. And we found out that they're going to try to bring back the original cast members to that movie. Well, why can't they do the same thing with The Revenge of the Nerds? Now, I was talking about also the Police Academy. Now, here's the thing about the Police Academy. There are so many cast members with that movie that have sadly passed. There's so many situations with that movie where it can be the grandchildren, like I said, are the children. Okay? And people were big fans of the Police Academy. And easily... You could do anything with the Police Academy. Either way. 
And I think we all know who we want to run the police academy in that movie. Who we want to run the place. I think we know who we want to be over the police academy now. I don't even have to tell you who we want to run the police academy movie. Who we want the chief or whatever you call it or the guy running the place with the fish now. I think we already know who we want to be the guy who has the fish now. I think I don't even have to talk about it. I don't have to say his name because I think we all know who we want to be the chief now or the boss, whatever you call it. I don't have to even say anything, you know. I don't have to say it. Mahoney, okay? It, of course, Mahoney. Okay? I didn't even have to say the name. Mahoney should be the one to run Police Academy. Okay? And when he didn't come back for the other Police Academy movies, everybody kept asking questions like, where's Mahoney? Where's Mahoney at, everybody? Where's he at? Because he just wanted to do different movies. He wanted to do different roles in movies. He wanted to try something else for once. Well, now I feel like it's time that Mahoney runs the Police Academy movies. I really do. I feel like it's it's overdue bringing these movies back. It's, it's about time. And every time, we've got to help Hollywood always. We've always got to help Hollywood. Always. We shouldn't have to help them with these ideas and these plans. We shouldn't have to. Mahoney and Lewis and all his friends and their children and their grandchildren going to college finally, it would be great. There's so many things that could happen. So many ideas. But yes, it would be great. It would be awesome. It would be great to finally see great cast members come back to all these movies. Just like I was talking about the other day. One Crazy Summer. It'd be great to see that movie come back. A lot of these movies from the 90s and 80s, a lot of them need to come back. And a lot of the great cast members need to come back as well. But Hollywood, they don't care. They don't, they don't even want to try. They just now finally got out Beetlejuice. I mean, it took you this long to bring back Beetlejuice? Why? Why did it take you so long, so long to bring back Beetlejuice? You should have brought that movie back years ago. Just now, though? Why? Why did it take you so long to bring back Beetlejuice? We love that movie. Michael Keaton is a great actor. He's great at everything he does. And now people are starting to say that he needs to do more. He needs to come back to some of his other movies. Where he had, uh, where he had clones of himself. Do you remember that movie? He needs to do that one now. And I agree, he definitely does. So yes, it needs to happen, definitely, hundred percent. But we shouldn't have to help Hollywood with all of these movies. I just wanted to put it out there, everybody. Yes. A lot of these movies, and a lot of these cast members, we would like to see them come back. And sadly, some of them, they're not able to come back. But we would like Hollywood to at least try to at least, you know, bring the movies back and some of the original cast members. Some of them that are still with us. Okay? Try your best. Okay? You know, we're, we're trying our best to help you. So at least try your best to bring back the movies, okay?